Right, let's see how to insert bullet points in Excel using special fonts. What I'm going to do now is show you the font called Wingdings and you can use that to add bullet points quite easily. So I'm going to select this first, I'm going to right click and change the font and change it to Wingdings, press enter. And now what I'll do is I can first just type a letter, let's say L, and I press control enter, that's going to fill it all the way down in my selection. That's a round bullet point. If I instead typed M, you'd get in an empty bullet point, or N, get a square bullet point, or a W, and you'd get a diamond. So that's one way to put in bullet points using lowercase letters L, M, N, and W, which are the equivalent of these bullet points here. Another way you could do it is actually to use a formula. You could say equals character, uh, open bracket, and let's say we wanted to put a star in, that would be character 171. So type in 171, close the bracket, uh, you can look in this as I type in the formula bar, press enter, and that produces a star. I'll copy that down, and you can imagine having that as a bullet point here. I'm going to just fill that down to illustrate. So that's another way you could do bullet points, but I'll show you a third one. Uh, let's change that back to Calibri, just so you see that. So here I'm going to start entering um, a bullet point by going insert. So I go to the insert menu, I'll go find symbols and I'll insert a symbol. So from here you can select wingdings and there's a nice bullet point. I'll select that one and then click insert close that dialog box and there we are so a wingding and I can just type in bullet point there and after that I can just copy that down and I have a bullet point with that part being a wingding font and the other part being a Calibri font and that's how you can type in bullet points using special fonts such as wingdings